We have an NHL trade to discuss between our original six teams. The Chicago Blackhawks and Detroit Red Wings have hooked up on a trade. We'll get into all the details coming up next. So welcome back here to Top Shelf Hockey. We have some breaking news from around the NHL. We have an NHL trade. It's not a huge deal, but the Chicago Blackhawks have traded forward Brendan Perlini over to the Detroit Red Wings in exchange for a prospect. Of course, Brendan Perlini has been a player we've discussed recently in some of the NHL trade rumor videos that we've posted here on the channel. Uh, it's been known here that basically him and the Hawks and his agent have come to a mutual agreement recently, suggesting that he really needed a change of scenery uh, to get a fresh start with another organization. Of course, he was acquired by the Blackhawks in the Dylan Strom trade from the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, he was originally a first round pick of the Coyotes back in 2013. Ended up putting together a pretty decent junior career. Uh, had a brief amount of time in the minors where he also played pretty well. Back in 17 18, he scored 17 goals with the Coyotes and looked to be on track to becoming a pretty solid NHL player. But really, ever since going to Chicago, he's kind of slowed down with his development and hasn't really seen that continue. Uh, the last little while he was in Arizona, even before the trade, things weren't going overly great for him as well, which is why he was in included in that deal with Strom. So the Hawks acquired a couple of struggling prospects, uh, which they've turned Strom into quite a player. He's been a nice impact player for them, whereas Perlini, on the other hand, has struggled to find consistency. Uh, going into this year's training camp, didn't really have the greatest showing, hasn't really been in the lineup, has had very limited amount of playing time, and even when he was in the lineup, he certainly did not see a whole heck of a lot of ice time. So this is a pretty good trade, I think, for both sides. Pretty low-risk deal. Now the Chicago Blackhawks get a roster spot opened up, a little bit of salary cap relief. Obviously, Perlini's not making a whole lot of money, but uh, you know, at this stage, every every little bit you can get uh, certainly gives you more flexibility. Uh, so the Red Wings get themselves another pretty solid forward. In exchange for Perlini, the Red Wings send prospect Alec Regula over to the Chicago Blackhawks, who was the third-round pick back in 2018. Now, he has not been signed to his entry-level contract, so at this point, the Hawks acquire his signing rights. Regula is a right shot defenseman with great size, six foot four, about 205 pounds. He's an American-born defenseman playing in the Ontario Hockey League, uh, having some pretty solid numbers in the OHL. Uh, so overall, he looks like a pretty decent prospect so far. The Red Wings have all kinds of defensive prospects, so it makes sense where they would give up a prospect like him in exchange for a potential guy like Perlini to come in and hopefully have an impact and get things back on track here. Uh, so overall, like I said, a pretty minor trade, but one that could potentially be impactful for both teams down the road. We'll see if Alec Regula ever turns into any kind of pro hockey player or an NHL player for the Blackhawks down the road, but it gives them another defensive prospect to work with in their system. Hopefully they can get him signed, and it gives Perlini a fresh start uh, with a group of young forwards in Detroit where there's all kinds of guys in similar situations there. they got a great group of prospects that they've really drafted over the past couple of years uh, between Rasmussen and Zadina and many others that they've got in the Red Wings organization there. So hopefully this works out for Brendan Perlini and he gets things back on track. So let me know what your thoughts are of this trade down below in the comment section. I think it's probably fair to say for right now that Detroit wins the trade because Perlini is the only player involved here that has any amount of experience. And we'll see what happens here in the future if the prospect that the Hawks acquired ever becomes a player for that organization. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future videos. We'll keep you all up to date with all the breaking news from around the NHL. Thank you very much for watching everybody and we will catch you next time. <laughs>